Hey there everybody. So today I want to talk to you about range. Now, these normal mini quads that we have, a lot of people are upgrading them with um, long range systems like, for example, the, the uh, TBS Crossfire or the FR Sky R9. Those are really popular right now. Um, and um, those systems are, are, are great uh, in that they can, they can extend your range. But, but my question is, how much range can you actually get with the normal setup that people generally use? doing 2.4 gigahertz. So I went out and I decided to do some test flights to really test the limits of my range. And I wanna see what is the actual limiting factor of, of just like a normal five inch mini quad. Is it the battery size? Is it the VTX? Or is it the RC link? So um, let's take a look uh, at some flights I did. Okay, so here's a bit of a challenge. Um, there is a mountain about yay high. I want to see if I can get on top of that mountain with a normal quad, no long range gear, and a 1300 pack. So we'll see how far we can get. Results, no, couldn't get, couldn't get all the way. Okay, so that mountain was, uh, it was about a kilometer high. The problem is, ah. the problem is that um, it had a very gentle slope on it. So that means like, uh, I actually ended up calculating how much I traveled and it was 1.07 kilometers roughly over, um, over land, but about two to three hundred meters elevation. So, you know, you're not getting much elevation for how long you're traveling. So what I'm gonna try to do, because I'm really interested to see how good my current setup is for like some long range and flying mountains, is I'm going to try to fly another mountain. It's a little bit steeper. This one is about a kilometer as well, but a lot steeper. So let's see how that goes.
there we go, that's the mountain. The thing is, I mean, <laughs> just being up there, uh, it's just so scary. I mean, I understand why people get long range systems. It's because being all the way up there and knowing that if you crash, it's going to be extremely hard to retrieve your stuff. I mean, <laughs> you know, just it would almost be worth it just for the peace of mind you get from having long range gear. But anyway, uh, yeah, I hope that I hope that tells us something about like, just how good the stock setup is, how good the stock just normal QX7 is. Um, I would say I would feel safe going a kilometer, maybe even a kilometer point five with this. Um, as long as there's no major obstacles in the way, and I know the long range, uh, the long range gear such as like the R9M or the Crossfire does help you get around the obstacles by boosting the output power. But I mean, living in Iceland, I mean, <laughs> there's not that many obstacles, right? So, anyway, uh, I hope that was interesting for you. I'm definitely gonna try to uh, make some more of this kind of content, and I really want to explore more just what you can do with this sort of setup. So, thanks so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you next time.